Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Minecraft with your friends using LAN on a Windows computer. Before we even begin this tutorial, you have to make sure that you and whoever you're playing with are all connected to the internet through the same connection, which means that you'll most likely be in the same house or room using the exact same Wi-Fi name. Or if you're using Ethernet, like I am, make sure that both you and your friend are using Ethernet from the same private network. Once you know that everyone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can go to Minecraft and just launch your game. Now I'm playing in version 1.19.4, but this method will work in just about any version of Minecraft, as long as you're on Java Edition. Now, once you've loaded into Minecraft, you can go to single player and create your own single player world and choose whatever settings that you want. Once you've got the settings that you'd like, you can go ahead and just create the world. Once you're in the world, hit escape to go to the pause menu, and right here, it'll say open a land. So click that, and then choose whichever settings you want for the person who joined. And you can specify a port number here, but if you don't know what this is, then you should probably just let it be. And once you have everything as you'd like, click start land world. And as you can see in chat, it gave you a five digit number. And make sure you remember this, as you'll be needing it later. On your friend's computer now, if you open Minecraft and go to multiplayer, then the game that you opened on your own computer may appear here. If it doesn't, however, don't worry, there's another method. What you can do is go down here where it says type to search and just type in CMD and click enter. When you get to the command prompt, type in IP config. And now under the first entry where it says IPv4 address, the number right here is what we're looking for. Now, you don't have to worry about sharing this out as this is only your private IP address. So it doesn't matter if someone else on the internet knows this number, they can't do anything with it unless they know your public IP address. And this is different than that. Now, once you have this number, you're gonna wanna remember it and head back onto your friend's computer where they're running Minecraft. Then you're gonna wanna go to the multiplayer tab and head down here where it says direct connection. And on your friend's computer, you're gonna wanna put that IPv4 address that you originally found on your own computer. So in my case, that was this. Once you've got this number put in correctly, then you're gonna wanna put a colon. And following that, you have to put the five digit LAN number that you got when you originally opened your game to LAN. So in my case, that was this. Now once you have this all entered correctly and make sure you go over and check it all, you can then click join server. All right, so now that I've got all of my own information entered on my friend's computer, he can now join my game. And hopefully he will in just a second. And there, as you can see, he is now in my local multiplayer game. If this didn't work for you guys, then I have a couple troubleshooting tips that are super duper easy and should get you guys playing together in no time. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head over to your firewall and network protection page. And you can do this just by navigating through your settings. Under private network, you're gonna wanna flip this off and you should do this on both your computer and your friend or your brother or sister's computer, whoever's trying to join your own world. In doing this, your computer won't block the connections coming from the other local computers. But you have to be careful and make sure that you turn this back on right after you finish playing Minecraft, as this could pose a possible security threat. But oftentimes, this is the main issue that keeps people from playing together. In fact, in recording this video, it originally wasn't working, and after changing the setting, it did work for me. Another quick fix, heading back to the main firewall and network protection page, is going here to allow an app through the firewall. And on this page, you can go up here and say change settings and scroll down until you find all these Java TM platform SE binaries. And mine are already checked, but you're gonna wanna make sure that all of the private boxes here are checked. And that will ensure that all of these files are allowed through your private firewall. You can also go down here where it says allow another app and you can find your Minecraft launcher. So for me, it's on my desktop and open that and add it to your list of exceptions for the firewall. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you and your friend are in the same version and that you and your friend are both connected to the same internet using the same method. So you're both connected to the same internet using Wi-Fi or both connected to the same internet using Ethernet. You can't have one person on Wi-Fi and one person on Ethernet. All right, well that just about wraps it up for this video. I hope that this quick and easy tutorial is just what you're looking for and that it worked for you. And if it still isn't working for you, be sure to leave a comment and hopefully it gets answered. It would also help out a lot if you could subscribe and like the video as I hope to have many more to come. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.